Hey everyone, I want to do a bit more of an in-depth walkthrough of the Spawncaster tool for 3ds Max. So to start we'll go ahead and draw a cable. So the first point you click will be your starting point of your uh, cable in. And then your second point, which we have directions down here on the bottom, will show you um, where your second point will be here. So we'll put it up here on the top. If you hold shift while you're kind of moving around here, it will temporarily hide the mesh so it's not in your way if you're trying to visibly see where you're clicking your second point. So then once you're ready you can go ahead and click and now when you move your cursor left and right what you can do is adjust kind of the arc or curve of your spline. So that's helpful when you're drawing a spline that you maybe want to have not overlap another one. So let's go ahead and do that here. We'll click from here. We'll have it go back here and let's kind of see our curve here. We'll go in the top view. We'll do something right about there. So now let's do maybe this guy and have it go up to, how about this one here? <clears throat> so now what we can do is move our cursor left and right and have it just outside of that other spline so it doesn't intersect it, which is important for believability. Um, and we can go ahead and click this one here and we'll have that connect maybe Let's go all the way back here. And again, we can adjust the curve so it's outside the helmet. Go ahead and click a third time. And once you're done creating your splines, um, the nice thing is it does create just a default spline shape in 3ds Max. So you can continue to tweak it after the fact if you need to, making it renderable or not, adjusting the thickness and everything else that comes with using native splines in 3ds Max. So if you have any more questions or suggestions on the draw cable, certainly let me know and I'll look at uh, adding those features in there for you. The other feature we had here was the freehand. It works similar to the draw cable in terms of it casting onto the surface of the meshes visible in the viewport. <clears throat> you can just click and begin dragging your cursor and you can see we're using a lazy mouse so that helps us get some smooth curves in our spline. If we want to make that visible, we can do that there. Now, you can use the offset to kind of push it off the surface a little bit. Our smooth steps, since we want it to be a little bit smaller, we'll go down to 0.25. That kind of adjusts uh, the detail or the number of knots on the spline. Pretty much how much it's sampling the mesh underneath. So if you want this uh, spline to be a little bit shorter for the curve, we can adjust that by the smooth length. So we'll just do one and you'll see our little smooth lines a lot shorter. So you can get some really cool uh, effects and shapes using this feature. It certainly speeds up the process of drawing splines on surfaces and meshes. Um, you don't have to add them to a, a detection mesh list or anything. It just draws on what's visible in the viewport. So yeah, check it out and let me know if you guys have any suggestions. Thanks.